Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, 37 Ford pickup truck by Ravel is coming along nicely. A little bit of progress since the last video. The engine is painted and installed. The wood is installed in the back bed. No, that's not real wood. That's actually plastic. I'm just joking. That is painted. Um, and the seat is installed the interior I did a little bit of polishing on the roof um, the roof had a little bit of trash in it and it needs a uh, needs a wax coat it's still not as shiny as I want um, I had a little trash in the roof and the roof is the most obvious place to have trash so this had two coats of, of green so I did some uh, a little bit of sanding and polishing and it's just dirty smeared I need to clean it and do a final polishing on it but I did do some polishing that's the only part of the green body that's had any polishing the fenders and everything turned out just great but like I say the top of the you don't want to have some obvious piece of trash on the most obvious part of the truck which would be the roof so I went ahead and fixed that um, whoa the engine turned out looking really nice i try I'm, that's a custom mix color it should have been a little darker um the the engines in the 37 would have been almost a deep blue blue gray um my paint didn't get nearly as dark as i wanted but it's close enough for me it looks good i think it's a good representation still um exhaust is installed on here so what i'm working on now is i got to get the windows installed in the body oh i also have the grill installed i have to do black washing um, also by the way i did paint the running boards they're nice and black that's acrylic craft paint just brushed on uh, i did paint the gas cap and i did paint the Although it wouldn't focus on it if I tried. The license plate holder is black now. Um, the dashboard, where did it go? Oh, also, I was able to paint the, let's see if we can get it to focus. Come on, baby. You can do it. I got the V8 on that side and that side, the 85 horse. I think it's 85 and V8. So darn small, you can't hardly see it. But anyway, it's painted. Where, oh, here's the dashboard right here. So the dashboard... Yeah. Anyway. The dashboard has the gauges in it, but this is kind of weird. So the decals for the, for the gauges actually go on the back, but it's a decal. So decals are not sticky on the face, they're sticky on the back. So you, I put a little uh, Mod Podge on there and stuck the decal in there, and there it is. So the decal for the instrument cluster gives two instrument clusters. It gives the one for the original, which is this one, and it gives one for a custom, which has other other um, decals or decals or decals. But other than that, that's the progress. So I'm going to get my dashboard installed in the in the interior. Um, I'm going to get the body installed on the chassis. The wheels look phenomenal. I'm so happy with the way they turned out looking. Let me see if it'll focus on these. What the heck is wrong with my camera? Yes, guys, listen. Before you guys comment on, I need to use an iPhone. I paid a lot of money for this camera, okay? A lot of dang money. And if I could ever figure out how to get it to work right would be absolutely wonderful but i can't so it's like man i know you guys get sick of hearing it but it, it is it's frustrating you pay you pay a lot and you can get better quality out of your phone well, why don't you use your phone matthew because i bought this darn camera for this is why i don't use my phone um it it also uploads faster when i use my camera to my computer rather than my phone it takes forever oh the color so the color of this back bed here come on you can do it you can do it there you go there you go 
The color is Model Masters um, leather. That's the actual color I use for that. First, I put a coat of black. Um, to me, a black. To me, a flat black actually. I just brushed it on there, and then I went over it. Five minutes later, that that lacquer dries so fast, and then I put a coat of the leather, and then the silver is just sharpie. And the Sharpie bled over, so I did a, another coat of the leather for the wood. And uh, anyway, I could talk for hours and annoy you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and um, get busy uh, working on this thing. This is going to, I think that, I don't think this installment number part two is going to be all that long because I've got a lot done. So here we go. So uh, you, you know what I say. I say, uh, stand by. All right, so I got quite a bit of progress done. Well, it feels like it anyway. Um, the chassis is now mated to the body. Oh, I thought I saw red in there. It was my hand. Um, so yeah, that's that's all installed. The bed, I think I already showed you that, but anyway, bed is looking great. I uh, got the interior now installed in the. Uh, in the cab, I'm gonna do a little bit of black washing in these um, door panel creases. However, I did get the uh, hood black washed where the louvers are. I'm sorry, but where the louvers are, I did get it uh, get it black washed, and it looks just great. So what I do because that's heavy black wash, I'll put it. Um, I'll black wash it and then put it in my incubator so it can dry quickly or else you could get that stuff all over everything if you're not careful. I also was able to get the um, windows put in along with the black rubber which is just Sharpie. Um, Mark did send me some um, black uh, like bare metal foil except it's uh, it's black. I didn't use it on this because of the way this works. This is actually the window and it was very easy to outline in black. So I, I just chose to use a Sharpie. The wheels are also in the process of drying. They look great. They're going to look wonderful whenever they uh, get together and get on here. And the spare is right here. The spare will mount to the, let's see. The spare mounts right there a little there's a there's a cutout on the running board and it and it glues right there so that's where that's going to be got the tail lights installed everything's looking so good the headlight buckets the headlight buckets had some pretty a pretty bad parting line on them so i scraped that down and painted them here they are i use the ak chrome paint I hope it's not dry yet but it looks it looks pretty good it looks pretty decent I'm pretty happy with it it's not quite as bright and shiny as the other chrome but I think it will look good and what else do I have I've got a few things got the uh, hubcaps the the uh, rear view mirror on the outside of the truck and to get the body attached to the chassis um, door handles have to be attached a lot like I said a little bit of black washing in the bumpers and obviously the tires so we don't have much more to go on this so get a quick view of how this is going to look I love this color it turned out so great such a fitting color for this truck um, again it was MCW um, it was MCW gloss green enamel what the heck So anyway, gloss green enamel, and um, I added some black to it because it was too bright. So I added a few drops of black until I got I was happy with where the uh, the color was at, and then um, yeah, it just turned out great. Just a nice dark, just a nice dark green color. I think very fitting for the 1930s, and uh, the engine. The color turned out pretty good. It's a little brighter blue than I was wanting, but it's still, as it, um, far as I could tell, the engine shouldn't have been green, 
um, they should have been this a, a blue gray color and that's what I was going for but it's not exactly the right but again it looks good so I'm going to get this body mounted tires on it and the rest of the chrome trim and we're going to be done and when I come back we'll have a finished model so stand by just a second all right guys well here it is all done up and um, looking great if I if I may say so myself um, yeah this is a nice little kit builds up really really nice um, also oh I forgot to grab it I sprayed everything with the it's gonna turn on me I'm gonna unscrew this the hobby nut models branded mini air compressor air, airbrush compressor so you get you one of those um, over at Hobby Nut Models. I'll have that linked in the description below. Did it work on a single charge? Yes, it did work on a single charge. It painted the whole thing on a single charge. Um, I can't, couldn't think that it would have much more life left in it because that was quite a bit of painting. Um, I did all the paint, uh, you know, except for like the brown in the bed and stuff like that, but all the painting uh, was done with the airbrush, my water airbrush, using this little uh, mini compressor pretty cool but let's get back to the truck here um she's fresh off of the assembly line i still see wet glue in the headlights i mean i just finished it i gave it a little wiping down not a polishing but a wiping down paint turned out just great so happy with it the roof did have those few little spots of trash but i did some uh i did uh, uh 5000 or 3000 grit water sandpaper and then um it could stand a waxing but um it looks good these this year these year trucks wouldn't have had a high gloss finish to begin with so i kind of blew it on that because like the fenders and all are really glossy now the roof actually probably would be more like it a little bit more of a uh, not so mirror finish because you can you know the these paints these mcw paints are very like see i mean look you see the camera so uh, there's no buffing zero buffing on the doors here i mean that's straight up enamel paint that's it so you can see how great the paint is but again the truck turned out great i love the spare tire i think that really makes it oh the engine and i'll take the hood off the hood fits great so i did have to okay um the way i like to build my model kits is i assemble as much as possible and paint them i don't like to paint something for instance the grill um the grill i put on the lower portion and you could see that early on in the video this portion was already on the bottom on the fenders so i had to do a little bit of sanding to get my hood i guess the way you would do it if you follow the instructions you would glue that on or you paint it separate and glue it on and have the hood up there and then you could kind of use the hood as as a guide i didn't do that so once i glued the grill on and would put the the uh, body in place i sanded my hood to make sure that the fitment was right the angle of the um the grill which the, the angle of the grill is right i didn't have to do much at all but that's because i chose to build it a little bit different than the instructions showed one other thing is I noticed on the box, let me grab it. It won't, probably won't focus, but anyway, it, it won't because I've got it off of auto. Uh, you see the headlight buckets on the red truck, they're black. I didn't realize that, and I had um, chromed spray. Um, I, I redid my headlights because they were, uh, they had a little flash around them and I just don't like that flash when it's a two part um piece it has you know it's it's made in a mold that's two pieces and it has that parting line i just scraped the parting line down and sprayed it down with my uh my chrome uh rust-oleum chrome spray paint or metallic and, and it stuff works great so i sprayed the headlights so they didn't do them body color i realized that late too late i could have painted them body color but i don't think it really takes away from the truck at all 
having chrome headlight um, buckets. Uh, the hubcaps look cool. They're really neat little hubcaps. This one actually says Ford, and these are the V8. So the, the truck, all four have V8, and this one says Ford on it. And under the bottom of it, just very simple, just the uh, wrong color engine, but it was it was close enough. Um, just I did a little teeny bit of weathering just to show that it had been driven, but let me pop the hood. And there is the engine, uh, just box stock. No plug wires, no nothing, box stock. This is just how it would be built from the box. Uh, the interior, I did a little bit of uh, texturing on the seat. You can't tell much about it, but I did do some texturing on the seat to give it a little bit of life uh, with acrylic paint. And the dashboard has just a, oh, look at there. The dashboard has a little bit of detail. Not much, but you can really get in there with this camera. Door handles, chrome. Um, sorry, I'm moving around so much. It, whew. Um, but yeah, it turned out really nice. I, um... I really enjoyed building it. So I do thank Mark over at Hobby Nut Models for sending me this kit to review and to build and to see if this little dude would do it in one charging amp, which it did, which is so cool. You'd never think it. I still can't figure out where the air goes, where it takes in air. You can turn it on and you. I would say, well, it takes it in around that... Uh, takes it in around the uh, charging port. No, because you can put your finger over the charging port. Well, it takes it in. Well, there's no other holes. Well, there's one little hole back here. And I covered it up too, and it still blows out air. I don't know where the air comes in this darn thing. No earthly idea. Um, but it does somehow or another. And it does a great job. If you are uh, interested in uh, airbrushing, uh, but don't have a compressor, I just use I don't have an airbrush compressor I use this for my other airbrush um, and it works just fine you don't have to buy the expensive um, model specific tank or uh, air compressors or if you don't even have the space for that you just get you one of these it's cool it literally can fit in your pocket and you can airbrush you can airbrush with it and your airbrush if you have a uh, if you don't have a siphon feed the airbrush can mount right on top of it but because mine is siphon feed my, my cup got in the way so I use the hose it comes with this hose comes with a charger comes with a hose um, it's a little USB plug charger anyway let's back on the truck sorry uh, this this is a neat neat little kit again thank you to mark for sending it over and I'll show you how easy the hood goes back on right there just like that body body panel lines line up really nice on the hood uh, just can't say enough about it. did black wash behind the v8 there where it says v8 that is black washed in here so I've got a little character got some black wash in the panel lines of the doors a little on the tailgate uh, I really like the wood grain in the back bed I think it turned out just great um, but other than that, guys, I am done with this video. I'm going to take some pictures now of this old girl, or this old boy. Does this look like a girl? I, this doesn't look like a girl to me. But anyway, this truck, I'm going to take some pictures of it. We'll see what, she, what it looks like. I almost said she again. Uh, up close and personal. And again, guys, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching these videos, subscribing to the, these videos, or to my channel if you've not subscribed hey go down there and hit that subscription button i really appreciate it if you would do that and if you have already thank you so much go to check out hobby nut models i'll link this little compressor in the description um go check it out um go check out his line of mcw paints which is what this one got i did tone the green down with some black but it is mcw paint um no clear coat just straight enamel with the hardener and that hardener gives you that 
really shell like finish so then when you put your hood on because it's enamel paint and they seem to never dry especially down in south georgia you can put it on and not think not worry about it pulling the paint off or sticking because it's got a cured a chemically cured finish because of the hardener um but yeah i'm done so thanks guys for all your support check out the facebook group model car videos facebook group the spring store grab yourself a t-shirt a coffee mug a sticker or something like that and to my patreon members thank you so much for your support had a great time on our live stream just recently if you're not a patreon member i encourage you to go over there join up we have uh at least monthly live streams where we all get on and we just shoot the breeze and talk about model cars and uh tony lancer he kind of he's the structure of the group he he's been having a a, uh, a list of topics and we just kind of like hit a topic and go to talking it's a lot of fun had a couple special guests on had lucas c on uh, fred henry was just on uh as a special guest and i will i plan on having maybe each time a, another a special guest it doesn't have to be a big time youtuber it can be just a special guest that i think would be an enjoyment to the the group anyway this is not a patreon plug uh, uh, solely this is about this truck so guys thank you for watching I like it it's going to look good on my shelf right up here somewhere I have to squeeze them it's getting kind of tight it's getting tight up here I have to make some room but anyway guys thanks for watching hey we will see you guys later bye